Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is chapter 3 in the Adventura journey. She loses weight and got tagged. So this is me in the start of getting the handicap ramp out and I was working very hard to get this thing out. It took a lot of time and effort to get this done, but persistence does pay off. And um, I would say the hardest thing that I had to deal with in this particular situation was the fact that I was by myself. Uh, you can see I used some tie down straps here to, to basically catch the ramp should it start to lean out, which you saw it just lean out a little bit there. And um, that way it was safe so that if it should break loose, it was not going to fall on me. Uh, and then you'll watch here in a minute where I was having some challenges to keep, get the bolts out because they were spinning on the top and spinning on the bottom. And you'll watch the actual uh, things where I propped the things and then it would just spin around in circles. And so I had to get creative with it and I finally found out ways it would work and where I could prop it to where it wouldn't go anymore. And then I finally got it done. Okay, as you can see, I have a greasy face, and I have a summary of the day is I have successfully removed the handicap ramp. It is uninstalled. It is on the floor, but it still needs to go to the salvage yard, and i got to finish disconnecting it. I look wonderful. <laughs> this is what it looks like to be a maker. But anyhow, I just want to do a quick little video and say... I did accomplish something today, and um, I did get the tail lights off, but I'm not, oh gosh, that's just horrible. Uh, yeah, we got much done today through the much dirt and stuff, but it, it was a good day. I'm back out in the van, and I wanted to show you a few things, so I'm going to stop this and restart it so I can show you what I'm doing. I got doing. two wires hanging out at the bottom of the floor, and I want to go find out where they're at, and I have found out where they are, and... Uh, they both run up underneath here and go into this box here. Um, I had one wire just sitting in here connected to one of these terminals and just not, not connected to anything. I have this wire here that is just hanging out here not doing anything. And it was just grounded, which I cannot take that out because basically I just unbolted that one. And so I'm taking that out because it doesn't need to be there anymore. It was apparently a battery terminal that is not being used now, so that, that's no longer needed. And then I have another wire here that goes to this terminal right here. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it. Okay, let's see if we can get some light on that there. This terminal here has a, a battery. That's the one that goes up through the floor. So I have to disconnect that one, and then the other black wire that comes up through the floor is up underneath here. And I'll show you where it's at. Oh, gosh. So that, see, there's another hanging wire that's going to come out. But that other black wire terminates right up there, right next to that, or right in that spot here. Or there it is, right there. That's the black wire. And they actually go up in between these two boxes. Ah! Sorry, I terminated. Uh, they go up in between those two boxes through the floor right there. So... I'm just trying to get this cleaned up and get rid of these wires that are just hanging here and not, these are these are hot battery wires that are not connected to anything. So I'm trying to get them disconnected so that I don't have uh, shorts in my whole system. It's wonder, no wonder this thing isn't working and I, I bet you I know why the AC is not working in the back because the wire's not connected. It is really freaking amazing to me that there can be this many cables that were not properly connected or terminated to electrical circuits. So I have collected up all the the uh, red wires, especially. The red wires are positive battery leads that just were leading to nowhere or leading to something that wasn't even connected anymore. So I took them all down and I'm gonna I'm gonna save them because they're good heavy gauge wires that I could probably re reuse later on when I do rewiring. But I wanted to show you this because this was just beyond my imagination. There was at least two ground wires that were not being one one was the handicap ramp the other was to a battery terminal i've gotten rid of those and they're all in this box now there's no longer any dangling red wires that's just beyond my imagination that there was so many dangling red wires red wires that were not connected to anything that's that's a positive hot wire that is not connected to anything that could cause a lot of issues with your car or vehicle and um i just i can't believe that 
And I want to show you something else I did. I'm, I'm working on cleaning up. I, this is my headliner. I wrapped it in plastic because I want to use it again for a template. And then I took all my stuff that I had laying around. There's this little channel here with all these little hooks on it. So I've literally started hanging up all my miscellaneous stuff up here so that I can find it when I need it. Uh, I'm a very visual organizer, so to have things visually just all, all out where I can see it is very helpful. Uh, all these wires you see hanging down here are old light uh, wiring and they're going to come out too. Um, that's going to be more stuff I'll pull out later. But uh, made a lot of progress, got, uh, got the uh, hydraulic uh, stuff disconnected from the big ramp. I have the old battery taken out. I have all the old wiring taken out and I'm in the process of cleaning up this mess here. Um, next step is to organize the tools and then get the blower out and blow as much dirt and crap out of here as I can. I also next week have coming up, I'm going to be taking a little break from um, the project and I'm going to be um, taking some time out to uh, just spend some time with the Lord. Uh, it's something I do on a regular basis, especially when he provides a way for me. So I will be uh, working on that this next week. I'm going to be spending time with the Lord and seeing what he wants my focus and direction yeah. on. When I get back, uh, some of my fo focus and direction is going to be on um, finishing up getting the tags and titles for this. So I have the title. I have a, only a few more days to get that done. I've, I've, I've got to get it done by the end of June. So when I get back from Greenville, uh, I'm going to spend a week in Greenville. Um, when I get back from Greenville, the Monday after I get back, I'm going to head over to the tags and title office, get a 10 day temporary tag for this thing so that I can drive it one, so I can drive it to the scrap yard and get this scrap metal gone. And two, so that I can, um, take it to get it inspected. So the first place I'll probably go is to the scrap metal yard so that I can get the scrap metal gone and get a little money for that. And then whatever money I get is going to pay for my inspection and hopefully pay a little bit toward the title. And then when I've got that done, well, we'll actually be able to um, relax and, and start working on the rest of the process, getting the rest of the ceiling out, continuing to, to bits and piece this thing apart. And I've got a tarp put over the top of it. I, I, I have another short video about that. Uh, I have a tarp put over the top of it temporarily until I can get to the roof. I thought I'd come up and uh, do a little inspection on the roof. This is right here. One reason why I think I have roof leaks. There's another reason right there. There's cracks in that. And then this is just, it's not done good enough uh, to where it would really be sealed. I need to basically strip down all this caulk, get all this caulk off of here and work on that and get it all completely washed, rinsed off, and uncalked, and completely sanded down and cleaned up. And then it needs to be completely re resealed. And then once it's resealed, it's gonna need to be sealed with like a, a marine sealant to, to seal this in tightly and make it so it won't leak anymore. Um, I'll probably pull off the drip seal, the drip, drip, drip edge here, clean that up and reseal that as well. And then of course I will definitely be redoing the windows. Um, they're gonna all come off, get completely resealed and put back on just like I did with the tail lights. I just thought I'd come up here and look to see how bad it was. Um, it's not terribly bad. It's not as bad as I expected, so but any small leak can lead into a big problem. So any anything that's left alone and left where it has, uh, water's gonna find its least path of least resistance. So. Uh, there's plenty of paths of least resistant up there. So I figure um, when I get back from Greenville, I'll probably start addressing the roof issues. Oh, hey everybody. I am here today working on trying to put my temporary tags on the vehicle. I have the lights all done and she's ready to go to go get inspected. Uh, I've got the temporary tags and I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna take this license plate holder off with these two screws because it's very difficult to get behind here and try and get the nuts on. So I'm gonna just take it off real quick with the two screws, put the license plate tags on the holder and then basically change that out.
So that's what I'm doing this right now. It's all about working smarter, not harder. So I got this pulled out. It's gonna be real easy to get these bolts and nuts on here and tighten them up. And then I'll put the screws back in and we're good to go. We got the temporary tags on. I did uh, two hex bolts with uh, washers on both sides and a nut. And then I put the screws back in and she's all ready to go. And I'm gonna go run down to the inspection place and hopefully we can get this baby inspected. Hey y'all, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm gonna try and lose some weight. I'm on my way to the scrap yard. I'm gonna see if I can lose some weight. I had some extra roofing material. It was left over from when my roof got changed out. I'm gonna sell that too. And uh, we'll see what we got. Got a lot of extra sheet metal. Not sheet metal I can use on the, on the uh, whole thing, but I got some sheet metal I can use, so. About to say goodbye to this ramp forever. Uh, they're getting ready to get a forklift and get it out of here, so. Here she goes. She's leaving now. Forever and ever. Come back again. And then down it goes. inspection done found a place that could finally do it and I'm getting it done guess what it's official she's got license plates I'm about to put the tags on the on the bus I took her and I got her inspected and she is ready ro road worthy now and all we have to do is get her fixed up and get her ready uh, we did find out she has a lot of roof leaks because it rained today of course the day that I was taking her out and getting her inspected and all that it rained but I'm gonna put the tarp back on top of her and park her back in her spot. And then she'll be ready to get more work done. I might work on her more some this afternoon. We'll see. Blessings, people. She's official. I'm gonna put the lace plates on now. Okay, it's official. She's got her plates on. Now I'm gonna go get the tarp and put it on top of the roof so that we can go park her and put her to rest for today. Thank you all for taking time to stop by. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Y'all come back now. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago.